VSTs are pieces of software that help you manipulate your audio signals and sounds within your beats on machine. VSTs were created to help you emulate specific pieces of audio gear that you would find in a typical studio, like equalizers, compressors, um, tape saturators, all that expensive stuff that you see in those million dollar studios on those racks. They are a really important step in helping you create more professional quality mixes right inside of your machine or any other DAW for that matter. So what I'm going to do right now is give you a collection of the best free VSTs out there. These free VSTs that I'm going to show you are going to allow you to get that professional quality sound that you're looking for without having to spend a dime. So we're going to jump on over the computer and I'm going to show you how to download them and get them in a machine. Okay, so you've probably seen a few other videos that I've done on machines effects, maybe about EQ and compression and reverb and all that. So I really don't need to explain to you how powerful machine stock plugins can be, but there are some situations in which machine stock set of effects really aren't good enough for a particular situation, or maybe they don't have the exact characteristics that you're looking for. And that's where free VSTs can come into play for you because other VSTs have different sound engines and they have different sort of characteristics. Each one is sort of designed in a different way so they can provide better quality sound for a specific situation. This is a great use case for some of these free VSTs I'm about to show you. And, and on top of all that, if you already know, like I'm sure if you looked at Waves plugins or um, sound toys and things like that, you already know how insanely expensive some of these can get. And that's not to say that all these expensive VSTs out there aren't worth the price, but as a beginner, I think that you should be starting with a lot of free options out there that are going to do the job for you, um, or going to do just as good of a job for you in terms of like what you're going to be able to actually utilize right now. So once your engineering and sound design and producing skills are professional, then you can invest the money in the professional tools. But for now, I say start with the free basics, get your feet wet in sound design and audio engineering and mixing on your machine and learning your effects and learning how to use them. Um, just as a quick plug, I want to mention that you can get a $1 copy of my machine ebook and I go into depth in and to all of the major stock plugins on machines, specifically compressors, equalizers, distortion, saturation, audio delay, um, and specifically how to use them to mix better beats in machines. You can get that link below in the description. But let's get started for now. Let's uh, go ahead and jump into this list of great free plugins that you can use inside of your beats to improve your sound. The first is the Flux Stereo Tool, and this is version three of the Flux Stereo Tool. Basically, what this is used for is widening the stereo image of your sounds. And this is a technique that's used a lot by professional audio engineers. It's what's called a stereoscopic tool that's really handy for you to manipulate the width of your samples. You can make them more narrow or more wide, and it adds to a more polished and professional sound. It allows you to really pinpoint where you can play sounds within your mix. It's a very useful sound. A lot of people can use pan pots for placing sounds within your stereo field, but this is very useful for me to sort of make sounds a little bit skinnier, if you know what I mean, and place them in specific places. So go ahead and look that up. It's the Flux Stereo Tool. Go ahead and Google that. The second is the Audio Damage Rough Rider Compressor. Now this is a beast of a compressor. I use this on drum sounds particularly. And this is hands down one of my go-to compressors for drum sounds. If you don't already have it, I don't know what you're doing, I recommend that you Google this, the Rough Rider, uh, Audio Damage Rough Rider Compressor, all right? Go ahead and grab this. It's it's on a large majority of my drum sounds. And I using you use, use this sometime on the Master Effects chain. It delivers some really good results, especially uh, when you compare it against machine stock compressor in certain situations. I particularly like the sound on drum sounds, the sound of this compressor. Just click to download that as well. So obviously all of these I'm gonna list come in OSX and Windows. So in order to get it, you just click the button to download it. It's gonna ask you where you want to save it and save it in that specific spot. I'll go over that in one more second. But the next, let's move on, is the Loudmax limiter. It's a really good limiter to use on your master channel. It's good volume to get good volume out of your mixes. It's good. It's a good way to sort of eliminate digital clipping out of your mixes. It only has two controls. It makes it very simple and straightforward for you to use and get good results, all right? So go ahead and check that out, the Loudmax limiter. 
The next is kind of like a bag of stuff, right? It's not one single plugin. It's a suite of some really dope plugins. And it's called the Togu Audio Lines Suite of Plugins or TAL Line of Effects. So Google that. T-A-L-F-X. I highly recommend downloading their Tube Saturator. It's down here. I highly recommend you download their Flanger. I highly recommend the Bit Crusher as well. The Bit Crusher is great on drums. It's a really good suite of effects that you can start off with. Um, you might as well download them all because they're all that good. And the last but not least collection of effects are the Blue Cat collection of free effects. These are very, very useful tools. In particular, my favorite one is this equalizer down here. All right? It's a semi-parametric e equalizer, which means that you can visualize sort of what frequencies you're manipulating as you're manipulating them. So you can't see the sound themselves on like a, like you can on a, uh, on a, uh, what should we call it, on a frequency analyzer tool, but you can sort of see where you're placing and the width of the, the Q bands and all of that stuff. It makes it very easy and gives you multiple points of control. All right, I'm not the biggest fan of machine stock EQ plugin, so this can really help take your EQing to the next level if you don't really spend like, uh, feel like spending a ton of money on an equalizer, okay? So let's jump into the next aspect of this. Is So once you've downloaded these effects, you know, once you've got these VSTs, what do you do or in order to download them? Basically, what I would do is jump in to a specific folder on your machine. The place that I folder save my folders is downloads or excuse me, documents, native instruments, machine two. And I created a specific folder called VSTs where I save all of my third party VSTs. And I'm going to explain to you why I do this in a second. But when you're downloading VSTs from a web, you make sure you want to save them inside of this folder because it's going to make it a lot easier for you to organize all of your VSTs and keep them unified and in the same place. All right, as I'll show you in the next step of how to import all these VSTs into the machine. Okay, so to import these sounds into the machine, you want to open up your machine, go to Machine 2 Preferences, and then you're going to basically jump onto the Plugin section, Locations, and then select a specific location where you just saved your sounds. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate this for you. You're gonna press the add button first. It's gonna give you a prompt to where you want machine to look to find your VSTs. I told you documents, native instruments, machine to VSTs, and then that's highlighting my entire VSTs folder. Select choose, and then press the rescan button. Okay, I'm not going to do it because it's going to rescan and take a minute for the sake of timing in this. I don't want it to take forever, but you get the gist. Once you press the rescan button, it'll be able to um, find all of your VSTs and put them inside of your machine so you have access to them in your project from now on. Okay, and last but not least, in case you're a brand newbie to plugins, in order to load a plugin inside of your project, right now I have the drums group selected so these are all my drum sounds within my project say I wanted to throw on a distortion to every drum sound in here using one of the VSTs I just downloaded okay I'm gonna press plus and then select audio damage rough rider plug-in or let's not a distortion but a, a compressor all right I don't know why you'd want to throw a compressor on your group but let's just say for this example this is what you're gonna do all right so it's that simple we just downloaded the the Rough Rider from the internet, saved it in our folder, we selected the preferences, found the place where it was saved and imported those sounds, and now we have access to them in all future projects, okay? So now that you've got a bunch of cool plugins to get started, I'd like to see you use them. Share the love below in the comments and tell me about your favorite free VST. But I know, if you're still listening to this, I know you are serious about improving your skills on machine. Okay, so I wanna hook you up with a few video lessons that you can use to go into more depth about how to use VSTs like these, specifically compressors, equalizers, reverbs, to improve your sound and, the, and to upgrade the professionalism of your sound and machine. Over the past year, actually, I've been putting together a library of video lessons on machine where you can essentially just look over my shoulder as I show you the step-by-step -step techniques that you need to use to improve the sound of your beats and your mixes in machine. Inside of this program, it's called Beat School. Let me show you it really quickly to show you what's inside of this program. This is what the program looks like. It's a collection of video lessons. Inside of here, there's specific lessons that we put together that show you the best ways to mix hip hop and electronic beats using the machine platform. So that when you're ready to bounce things out to your DAW, your beat is already 90% of the way there. Inside of this program, I reveal my entire formula of cutting 
cutting edge audio engineering techniques that are going to make your mixes on machine sound like they were made in million dollar studios, okay? So as you can see, that's that's there's tons of lessons in here. We talk about EQing, reverb, there are in-depth video lessons, 35 minutes long going in depth into one particular subject. We've got articles breaking down things in in great detail, making things very easy for you to understand. That's not that's just the mixing section, let alone the section on sampling, teaching you how to mas master machines workflow, building great drum grooves, a bunch of great stuff, okay? And here's the good news. Today, I'm letting a few people try out this Beat School program to learn all this stuff that I just listed for free. Okay, and all you have to do is click the link below in the description to sign up for your seven day trial of this Beat School program. You're gonna land upon a page like this once you click the link in the description. And you're going to basically enter your name and your credit card information. And that's just so I have it on file. This is a free trial. Within those seven days, if you decide that you don't like the program, Again, like I said, this is a free trial. Just email me directly and I'll make sure that your card is not charged, okay? But if you do enjoy the program and the live workshops that we host, all you gotta do is do nothing and you can stay a member for just $38.60 a month. Again, this is a no contracts, pay as you go thing, a month to month thing. This is not a payment plan. You're not on the hook for a payment plan or anything like that, okay? So click the link below in the description, learn how to use machine stock effects to creatively improve your music and improve the sound that you're putting out on machine, all right? Sign up for your free trial to, Beats, to the Beat School program, a no risk free trial. Take seven days to evaluate the program and decide if it's for you or not, all right? Again, my name is Rob. Subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this and learn more about how to create great music on machine. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.